Veronica Vance. Coming up, we dive into Metro Detroit's brand new aquarium, show you how you can make your own local wine, and then we get a taste of Ethiopia at the Blue Nile, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. the Great Lakes Crossing outlets, but I'm not here to shop. I'm here to go on a journey under the sea at the Michigan Sea Life Aquarium. So I'm in front of the green screen and they're taking my picture up there. It's all populated with fish like I'm under the sea. This is how you kick off the tour. You get your picture taken, you watch a video, and then you come into this, and you're immediately immersed, like, you hear the sounds of water. If you want to find out about something, they have these nice exhibits, little touch screens here. You find out what's swimming around. So the aquarium makes one big loop around, and it takes about 60 to 90 minutes to make it through. But what's really neat is along the way, they have all these little nooks and crannies, all these little caves, and all these fun things for you to crawl through like this, and you can get totally immersed in it. And I'm looking, I heard there's a turtle in here, there's all the fish in here. Fun for big kids and little kids. And look at this, these are the seahorses. They're just beautiful creatures. And what's really interesting is that the males carry the babies. So if you want to get immersed on a larger scale, they've got this area called the shoaling ring. And they've got all these fish that just swim around naturally. They've got lobsters and crabs that are crawling around on the bottom. You just kind of sit here and be like you're inside of the aquarium. We've got um, about 25 tanks in total. Oh, okay. uh, one of our, our biggest, uh, kind of our highlight is our 120,000 gallon ocean tank. Oh my It's goodness. really incredible. I mean, you it has a 180 degree tunnel that you walk through. Right now we are standing in our, it's called our shark shipwreck. So the tanks here are just gorgeous. The fish are bright and beautiful. I like this, it magnifies the fish. Yep, it does. Yeah, we've got some lionfish in here. And I see that there are interactive things throughout the place. Yep, yep, absolutely. We've got all kinds of fun things for kids to do. When a kid comes in, we give them a little dive book. There's different stations where they can answer questions about you know, conservation or learning about the species. Yeah. Then they get a little stamp in their book. So they complete all the stamps and they get a little prize yes. at the end. So. another one of your themed areas that we're in now. What is this area? Right, this is called our turtle shelter. What it is is it's kind of a traveling exhibit for okay. us, so it's just a way for us to keep it fresh and new for people, um, so our guests will enjoy something new when they come back. This is the tunnel that I was telling you about. It's pretty amazing. How many different do you know? You've yeah, we have over sharks. 250 species. Okay. We have three different sharks right now. We have um, black tip reef sharks, black nose sharks, and then a bonnet head. Those are really cool because they kind of look like a baby hammerhead. Oh, here we go. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we do. We have talks and feeds throughout the day as well. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a, one of our southern rays. We have a couple Huge. of real big ones. And they'll actually get all the way to about six feet across when they're full grown. These are our jellies. Yeah, aren't they beautiful? The thing I love the most is they're so iridescent that uh, we have these lights. Yeah. You change the color of the light and it reflects on the jellyfish. Oh, so, oh that's beautiful. It's kind of fun, yeah. And it's one last look into our big 120,000 gallon tank. And oh, I love it. It's kind of got that nice feature of our sea goddess. Yeah. Oh, how artistic. 
Thank you so Thank much you. for the tour. And I'm going to go. It's gonna so go great for you to come out here. Learn a little bit more right. about the There's mission. so many great things to learn. You're going to love it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Well, we have two species stingray in this tank. Two. Really interesting. So we have our cow nose rays, which are these ones. And they're called cow nose rays because of the shape of their face. It looks a bit like a cow's nose. Uh, my favorite ones are the southern stingrays, so these bigger guys down here. Uh, these actually get to six foot in width when they're fully grown. Uh, we also have a really cool green moray eel in here. Make sure you wave to him and you know say hi. We also have our black tip reef sharks in here. There's two juveniles that are swimming around in here. And sharks are a really important animal for us for our breed rescue protect program. And this is the area we get to touch everything, right? Yeah, this is our interactive touch pool. So the great thing about here is the whole family can get really hands on and learn some really cool facts. But this is our chocolate chip sea star, and you can see where he gets his name from. So he looks yeah. kind of like a cookie. So kids and adults can learn about how they eat. This one is just yeah. breathtaking. It's beautiful. They come in all shapes and sizes. You can get um, sunflower stars that actually get, uh, you know, kind of like about four foot high. They're really, really big. These guys are awesome. And uh, they're kind of like sea stars in that they have those little bits to use for locomotion. So if I take them out, you can start to see all these little arms there moving around. Oh, they're around. starting to move. And so this is what they use uh, to move along. Yeah, so you can touch him. This tank is one of my favorite displays. It's the kind of animals you'd find like in a harbor area, like resting in the kelp or under piers and stuff like that. The trigger fish in here, he's definitely got a personality. And when you have food, he'll like lean over and you can tickle the side of him. So uh, yeah, he, uh, he gets used to coming up and um, again wants some more food. So what area is this? What kind of fish are in here? These are some of my favorite fish. These ones here are called jackknives and they're really cool shape and really different. So this is all tropical marine fish, so like warm salty water. The other cool thing we have here is our baby stingrays. These were actually born here at uh, Sea Life Michigan. Like most of the rays, you can see this one's just foraging around for food. There's actually four in here. So you start your tour with a video and you end with a video too, correct? Correct. So one of the big focuses for Sea Life as a whole is Breed Rescue Protect. Um, so we have characters to go with these. We have Mia, our seahorse, Tyler, our turtle, and Magnus, our shark. You can learn all about the breeding projects we do, the turtles that we rescue, and how to protect things like sharks and, and the environment as a whole. Thank you so You're much. You've so taught nice me so you. much. Yes, thank you. We you loved it. This is our second time today. Through the whole day. Yes. Oh my, we've really? been here twice today. Yes. What, and what do you guys, was that your favorite, the seeing the sharks? Seeing the sharks. <laughs> we got three under three, and uh -huh. the adults are having just as much fun as the kids. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of this is the place to be. <laughs> All right, well, thank we you. love it, don't we? Bye. And when you're done, you're not done, because they've got this great play zone area here that you, kids can just dive right into. We loved it. We, we, uh, we've come here twice already now, and yeah. we, just, we absolutely love it, the, the fish, everything. We came yesterday while you were at work. This oh, is yeah. our third time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what goes on when you're at work? They're at the aquarium. And yeah. So you, your kids, how are your kids liking it? Oh, we love it. Every day we seem to find something different that we didn't see before. Today yeah. we found the octopus, and we absolutely love it. I, I, I'm so glad we got the year membership, and we're going to be here so many more times. <laughs> Well, you can't get out of here without doing a little shopping. I'm going to take Magnus home. He's their mascot. And this is also where you can pick up the pictures that you had taken at the beginning of your trip here. And it's just a great place to take home some wonderful memories of your time at the Michigan Sea Life Aquarium. Say bye.
I'm in Clinton Township at the Filippo Mark Winery, where owners Gerard and Tressa scour the globe for everything wine related. And it pays off because when you walk through the door, you feel like you're transported right into Italy itself. Okay, wine novice, wine diva, they've got you covered. They've got all kinds of really neat accessories. This is a wine bottle holder, stiletto red deal. How cute. Beautiful wine glass coasters. Just every little nook and cranny has something really unique. They also have a large variety of hand painted accessories, all done by local artists. And then, what really fooled me behind me, perfect for your boat, bikers. This is plastic. Can you believe it? They've got beautiful ones over here. They've got these are etched plastic. If you don't want to take your glassware outside, your nice crystal outside, I was fooled. Okay, even wine clothing. And of course, very exquisitely done. So Gerard, tell me a little bit about Filippo Mark Winery. I mean, it's just beautiful when you walk into the place. Well, thanks for uh, mentioning that. Uh, we're a uh, bonded winery. We get all the grapes shipped in from all over the world, mm -hmm. and we blend, ferment, and process here. And we're really big on education, so people should feel very comfortable when they come in to visit our location. We want everybody to know that everybody starts off equal here, yeah. and uh, it's okay to not know everything. Mm -hmm. All I want to know is, are you interested in learning about wine, and are you interested in getting into wine? And after that, the world gets easier. The world gets easier. And That's I, mean, right. I see behind you, you've just got, are these mm -hmm. all different flavors? Are these yes, now this is what we call our fruited wine uh, wall here. Fruited wine. All okay. of our oh, wines yeah. are based with grape first. Mm -hmm. For instance, we make a Riesling, a Merlot, a Cabernet, but then we add in pureed fruit in the third stage to give it a natural sweetness. They're a little lighter in alcohol, so this isn't mm -hmm. serious wine. This is mm -hmm. more of what we call just kick back and enjoy. And these are beautifully arranged. These are all mm -hmm. of your more traditional wines that yes. are your non-fruit? We've got it set up where the lightest and semi-sweet wines are there in the white category, and they're driest and heaviest as you come to this end. Oh, then nice. the same thing in the red category, our lightest and sort of semi-sweet, if you will, mm -hmm. and then they go farther into the more complex and heavier reds. And then on this end here, we have more of what we call our premiums. We only have a few wines that are above the uh, $12 range, and that's what these are. And then you're also, you also um, make these labels when people yes. come in. That's we have the ability to aspect. make a custom label, uh, whether it's an individual bottle for somebody that wants to just say thank you, or for a wedding, or a special occasion, uh, or we do multiples for larger events like the wedding itself. So when you have the wine tastings, it happens right here in this cozy little mm -hmm. environment? Yeah, the idea was is we wanted to feel kind of like you were in your Tuscan villa and we were going to have a party out in the garden. This room can be expanded to accommodate up to 30 people. Also, when somebody walks in at any time, they can just come back here and they sample some of your wines. They may. We allow them That's to sample any three selections mm -hmm. of the wines that we have. Mm -hmm. So what we're really gaining is client confidence in our product. Yeah, because you have what? 80, over 80? Over 80 selections of wine. We're pretty much going to find something that can work for very, you. Very, very tailored to everybody's taste. Okay, so this is our blending room. This is where we keep all of our tanks, and they range from what is called a 50 liter tank down here. These are our 300 liter vats, and we do have a couple of larger vats, 500 liter. We're producing almost 9,000 bottles of wine. The beauty of the stainless steel is that we have the uh, flexibility that I can make a dessert wine, and then the next time around I might make a Riesling or one of our fruited specialty wines, mm -hmm. but we won't get any residual flavor from the last batches that would get into the next wine and change its flavor and, and style. Now I had a little pre-hand understanding that you like Pinot Noir. Yes. Well, I just happen to have one that I open. I like it. What is it? This is a uh, Pinot Noir is the name of the grape, and there's also Pinot Grigio. That's the, the white. white. So I'm going to pour this one for you. Okay. And we're going to start you off with just a small amount. The first thing that you're going to notice is its color. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the best way to see the color is to look through it from the angle. Okay. If you can't see through it at all, it's a very full-bodied wine. But if it's pretty clear, then it's a relatively light-bodied wine. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to take the glass and just give it a little spin. When you spin red wines, especially, it aerates the wine and the fumes are going to rise in the glass. 
breathe it in. And you really do train your sense of smell to be very acute, nice. and you're gonna get a lot more of the experience out of the wine. You go, I did notice that cherry or that apple. Now when you taste the wine, nice. I want you to just take a small sip. Okay. Sip mm -hmm. and hold. Now just open your mouth a little bit and breathe over it. Swallow and then exhale. Hmm. Can you get all of that experience? I mean, where yeah. it fills your mouth yeah. and you get a lot more out of it. Mm -hmm. But this is where we did a full analysis to better understand how good am I going to like this with my, with my meal. Well, Gerard, thank you so much. I have learned so much information today. It was today. a pleasure. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, and whether you are a novice or an expert, if you come to a wine tasting at Filippo Mark Winery in Clinton Township, I can guarantee you're going to learn something too because this man really knows his wine. So. There are plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. Metro Detroit has a brand new 35,000 square foot aquarium and the Henry Ford pops the hoods on over 40 iconic cars. Once features actors who play their own instruments on stage and Spank the Fifty Shades parody is a hilarious satire. Snow slide, zip line and more at the Meridian Winter Blast and the DSO's tribute to Nat King Cole is an absolute treat. Once on this island is almost non-stop song and dance and you can donate for the Special Olympics or take the polar plunge. The Detroit Boat Show sails into Cobo, and Hamtramck is the place to get in on the Fat Tuesday fun. See the hard-to-find Oscar-nominated short films at the DIA, then catch Robocop the Musical at City Theater. Garth Brooks kicks off his world tour at the Joe, and the Outdoor Rama gets you ready for the great outdoors and lakefront living. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. So I'm in front of the Blue Nile restaurant in Ferndale, just off of Woodward on Nine Mile. And a minute ago, I'm in the lobby, and I hear this kid on the phone with his buddy saying, just bring $25 and come on down and meet us. And he's like, that's all the money you made today? Dude, come on down. It'll totally be worth it. Now, if that doesn't say it all, I don't know what does. So come on, let's go inside and have some authentic Ethiopian cuisine. The reason I opened an Ethiopian restaurant, which is a Blue Nile, every big city deserves to have a diversity. And based on that, we brought up an Ethiopian cuisine, which is very authentic, very culturally oriented. You don't have to have 3,000 miles to drive right. so that you could be in Ethiopia. So we brought it in such a way that the food, the atmosphere, the ambience, and the service, the uniform, everything will feel you that you're there. We are a, a destination restaurant. We're not just a restaurant where to eat. We're a restaurant where to dine. Dining is something else. You take time out and your pleasure. We are for that. We give you a hotel for your hands to wash. You roll up your sleeve. We bring a little bit of everything we have on the menu for you. You just roll up your sleeve and you dig in. Oh, whatever awesome. you like, you ask for more. Whatever you don't like, there's no hard feeling. Yeah. If you indulge it too much, you need a sister, we have a stretch and take you out. You don't <laughs> have to worry how much you eat. Right. You know, that's how good it is. We have a, a booth mm -hmm. and we also have a, an, an American and Ethiopian style. You see the chairs as you see it here, right. the basket over there. That's where we have famous basket will be taken out. And that's where we bring you the food here. Sure. For those who want very authentic, I have on the other side, the very small low chair. The low chair. The little chair, which will bring you back totally Ethiopia. It is also, uh, historically, we have few things here. I just want you to see the umbrellas, you mm -hmm. see? This is very significant of, of, of the Ethiopians. And you, every, 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 the ladies have to have an umbrella for the sun and okay. the rain. It is majestic. It's um, the kings, the queens, all those people, sure. that's how they've been identified and dignified and also uh, given all that respect based on what the kind of umbrella they have. This is the, the angel. The angel? Okay. Yes, it's, it is an Ethiopian drawing. You see the big eye? Yes. An angel on the top, an angel on the little down there on the bottom, mm -hmm. an angel on the other side. That is giving you to protect while you are in this restaurant. Mm -hmm. So spiritually, you're here more covered so that you have a good time, feel secure, mm -hmm. relax, 
joyful happiness and so on. This is the, the, the cups and the, the, the cutleries we have at home. You see the angels here, oh, the, the yeah. big eyed man. This is traditional Ethiopian po coffee pot. And then we serve it traditionally like that. So is it a really strong coffee? Yes, full-bodied coffee, like Turkish coffee, okay. they call it. Mm -hmm. It's a full-bodied rich. You know that coffee was originated in Ethiopia? Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's a place called Kafa. It, that's a contribution of Ethiopia to the world, is coffee. This is also, we have some Ethiopian traditional um, clothes we have. If you notice this one, this is a whisk. Whisk. Yeah. Fan. Fan, yeah. Fan. yeah. Oh, exactly. Oh. You use that for that kind of purposes as well. And this is also traditional because it has a lot of um, historical things there. You see the little homes in Ethiopia. This is handmade of wool. We now, what would you do with this? It's this is traditional. You hang them in the walls. And uh, by the way, this is where we come from. Okay, this is Ethiopia. Cool. This is Africa. And this is where Ethiopia is, oh, a very I mountainous see. country. Oh, I see. Kafa, coffee home. Exactly, right yes, okay. that's what I was trying to say, the coffee home from there. And this is some of the handicraft. We, oh. we mm -hmm. support the, the, the women's in Ethiopia. Is that how the clothing and the jewelry, it's all made there? Exactly. Everything is made there. So we bring it here, we sell it to the customer, we send back the money to them. Very so nice. that gives them a little economic independence. <laughs> All the vegetable vegetarian right now. We will bring the meat; it will be separate. Okay. However, this is the uh, red lentils, mm -hmm. the yellow split peas, the cabbage, the spice yellow split, mixed veggie, collard green, and salad. Salad. Okay. And this is injera, which is flour and water. So you take the bread like that. You see, mm -hmm. very soft it is. Okay, so you can tear it like that. It feels kind of spongy. Yeah, it's very spongy, very soft. Mm -hmm, very so soft. what you do Just is you water. put it like that. Mm -hmm. You pinch it nicely like this. You know, see, it like yeah. that. Yeah. And you read it. So use your fingers. No exactly, not any utensils. And then it's also very customary to feed each other. If you don't mind. I don't. No. And now it's feed you. Okay. I, you put it I in my mouth. Say, yes, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's mm. the way it works. Oh, and it's fantastic. Exactly, that's the way it works. Mm, okay. Mm, mm. Love it. Ooh, okay. Spicy, very good. <laughs> All the vegetables okay. cooked with virgin olive oil and very healthy, very tasty, very sweet. Now this again is spicy yellow split peas. Spicy yellow split. Mm. Fabulous. Just yeah. the right amount of spice. Wonderful. Yeah. I bet kids love coming here and being Absolutely. able to eat with this their is, hands. This is their heaven. This is kids' heaven. You know? If you really like something, it's all, you, you say, I want more of this. Yes, more they will go bring you more of that. It's all you can eat, one set price for either exactly. the vegetables or the meat, All the meat, the meat right? as well. Cool. What we have here is a beef. Beef? Yeah. This is a lamp I told you earlier, very fruity sweet. This is a mild chicken. So and this what, is the, the... The spicy chicken. Spicy chicken. Yeah. By the way, it's a red meat. There's no fat. We trim it, only the red meat. So... Oh my goodness. See how that drink to it? Oh my goodness, the sauce is in it. Yeah, so the sauce good. is very nice because mm. what that the barbaric does is it will give you that zing to it, but it doesn't give you the hotness. Right. Oh, but that's fabulous. That is exactly. This lamp has been first boiled, cooked again to mm -hmm. take the fat out. You don't have that matinee flavor. No. Okay. Very sweet and tasty. You'll find okay, out. I'm not usually a big lamb fan, so we'll see. Okay, I'm not kidding. See that? I like it. See? Mm, right. That's very good. The, the onion, mm -hmm. the ginger, and, and the, 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 the coriander. Yeah, it's not the fatty turmeric. At all. Yeah, the turmeric will give the color and the mm -hmm. flavor. So that, that's what the beauty about that. Very good. Well, Seifu, I want to thank you so much. Thank you. It's thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you for coming. And thank you. As we've seen, the Blue Nile, they offer wonderfully seasoned food. It's all cooked in a healthy, low-fat way. And as Seifu said, it's more than just a restaurant. It's a destination, and it's definitely going to be a meal you'll remember.
Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you would like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.